Hello and welcome to my scrap o -Mart. That's what this is. Um, guys, I uh, tried to find a nice tutorial about a scrap factory and I couldn't really fi find any because there's so many different mod packs, people are using different stuff and uh, for the Dire Wolf 20 pack, this is what I came up with. Well, I've been tinkering around here for a couple hours now and um, this is my final well, this is my final product really um, why did it take so long well because there's so many variables number one how many cobblestone generators do you need to run um, how many recyclers to get how much scrap to entertain how many engines and to fill the mass fabricator just so well this is basically it um, it could still need some fine tuning, which is why I left that space down there. Uh, just because I want to see if or if not, I'll crank this down a little more yet. Uh, if it makes sense to, um, you know, put more recyclers there. But thing is, the recyclers are m more expensive than overclocking upgrades, which is what these have in them. So you couldn't run just five recyclers on all three cobblestone generators. Um, all of them have four overclocker upgrades in it, and they make just enough scrap to fill this chest while still taking enough out, enough scrap out to, um, you know, just entertain the mass fabricator. So it's it's producing pretty good, and that's just one solar array. But yeah, this this works pretty good with all the engines going and. Uh, few little hints here um, if like for the beginning you need more engines okay and you see the one engine is just pumping in this one pipe here do nothing that is because that is how I keep my engines hot redstone engines take a long time to heat up and if you just you know don't need it right now but maybe later you just turn it around with the wrench and then it would pump more and this way you can just leave it on and yeah this you know, in the multiplayer, I would probably not have that gate there, but it's a quick way to just have all three engines on and not have any levers there. Um, this thing here is basically a relay, and you either throw stuff in here directly, but it takes the whole stack. If you put a stack of cobblestone in there, it takes the whole stack and puts it into the system. So I just put a stack, uh, a chest here, and you could fill it in there, and then your engines, um, you can fine tune those and decide how much should go into the system. If you want to put more up, um, overclockers in there. And yeah, let's maybe uh, just build this thing and see what I do. Oh yeah, and I'm running two geothermal generators at the moment because these things overclock take a lot of power. Um, plus, if one runs out of energy s or out of cells, you know, you have still the bat box as a backup and this one generator is a backup. Um, yeah, this is basically a, a weak link. Um, you could just add a, um, ah, what's it called? The liquid tesseract, for which I already made a tutorial, and um, yeah, we'll upload that too. So then it could easily entertain those two generators, and I mean they're not expensive at all either. So, um, the basic setup, I already built one once over there. The difference is that this one here, I run off another chest I had as a capacitor in there. So either you have this thing up there, or you have this, and then you can put in as many as many cobblestone as you find, or just another generator over here, you know, whatever. Like there's different ways, different ideas. But this one here, let's just build the basics. Well, you basically what you need is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. So five by seven. 7 by 5, whatever. And then you knock out those stones. Or you just make it in the ground, whatever. I mean, that, you know, there's a million ways you can do this, but this is how I'm doing it now. Um, yeah, because you knock this out. That out, that out. And then you can 
already put your lava there. Uh, it will flow in there. We'll put your water. You just need two pieces of water. They'll float around, and it's a very effective way, really. Uh, we'll need the screwdriver and turn these around so the butthole is is up. So I can poop it out. Pneumatic tube will go off. Mm, let's go over here. Oh, over there. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just uh, have to connect everything with redstone. Don't need that no more. Beep. Beep, beep. Don't need that no more. See, the uh, advantage of the pneumatic pipes and the red power is that it's smart compared to the build craft crap. Um, because, as you can see, although we have power, nothing's going to happen. Because the pipes and the rock, uh, yeah, rock break or block breakers know that there is nothing that the stuff would go to. They just don't bother. They say, oh, fuck you. Okay, so, I'll just make this as a little guide. One more. We'll put down the chest. No, we don't need to. Don't don't make the chest. Um, basically, yeah, we can just directly feed one, two, three, four, five. Feed our recyclers. Whoops. Yeah, and uh, there's only going to be a flow, as you can see, when the stuff has a place to go. And it starts with the closest. So when this is full, we'll go over to the next two. When these are full, we'll go over to the next two. And then when there's no space in any of them, it will just stop, which is great. You don't need a chest. And this whole thing is already working. So now, I guess the guy could elevate those up like I did that one there. Or you hide the stuff a little better. It really, really doesn't matter. And so you would have your connections. And, yeah, I use a bad box because, well, it's little volume, but at least you don't need a bloody transformer. Oh, is the... Ah, oh, shoot. I've got to make sure that the little knobby is right. Yeah. That's always the next thing, right? Then you have it all hooked up and nothing works. It's because the <laughs> the outlets are not right. Okay, and then, yeah, like I said, these you can feed with um, either the cells or lava directly. I will definitely build everything to make it feed, uh, get fed with lava. Okay, and then these will work. But, of course, we'll need some outlets, so we'll take these chunks out. And then we'll go wooden pipes and redstone engines oh, we'll need that and basically if you want to fire those up already oh that makes sense just because it takes so long and really do you need a lever do you need to um, stop these at any time no you don't you can just leave them running it doesn't cost any more like yeah so a guy could just either do that or have levers so really whatever you want to do okay and then this stuff is getting pooped out so you can't stop it of course now that's um shame but whatever Okay, um, basically if we just go there, I'll make a golden pipe there. And a diamond chest. And then of course we got to set all these pipes right. So wherever there's the blank spot in the pipe, that's where it's going to go. So, just like that. And then we can turn our magnet on. And then we have all our stuff again. Eight pieces. 
right? And it's already working. And then it's just a matter of feeding uh, your mass fabricator. And of course you have to feed it from the bottom, which is why I made it so ugly. Um, again, you could just have the chest down here, you know, or even lower it further yet. You know, lower it right down and then have, have the mass fab here. Doesn't matter. So this is the basic setup. <clears throat> anyway, works 100%, 110%, 125 million percent. And, um, yeah, nothing's overclocked, so it will fill those up really quick. And then the stuff will just stop. So, again, I have... Oh, it's getting hot here. <laughs> um, I have put four overclocker upgrades into my five recyclers. And um, they are running this chest not quite anymore. So it's just, it's probably just so, you know, that it fills the chest and then it fills the mass fab. Like there's no, nothing building up. And if one of these runs low, well, heck, you just throw cobblestone in it. Like I said with up there. No problem. But, or yeah, you could put another um, overclocker upgrade in there. Or another set of recyclers. See how that works. Like, oh man, you have a million options and then I just basically repeated my uh, cobblestone generator and and that's it and then you don't you only need the five redstone engines here and you'll need another one to pump the stuff out of the chest and then you're done oh and yeah if you have of course the lava you'll need another one to take it out of the tank and maybe if you want to do that relay thing because well I haven't looked much into it but this seems to be the only way you would get material into those pipes from an, a, a chest. That red power doesn't, uh, you know, convert to anything else really. So, it is what it is. Whoops. <laughs>